Good afternoon. This is Captain Scotty and Captain Steve again, live from Fishing Franks. Um, it's it's becoming summertime here in Charlotte Harbor. Um, our cobia, our sharks, our tarpon bites good. Um, you want to target those cobia and shark cobia, especially on the sandbars. If you see a manatee or a big school of rays, like we said before, those are pez dispensers for those guys. They they spit out live babies and they run behind them and eat them. Um, We've had a decent snook bite going on. Um, but again, most of the cobia has been on sight fishing. But it's summertime, our big fish are here. What you got for us, Scott? Oh, kind of very similar. But man, I've, I've caught some really nice cobia the last week or two. Um, and you're talking about the snook bite. Trout bite's still, you know, kind of medium. They're tapering off a little bit. Um, sharks everywhere out there in the harbor. Whether you want to get them two foot, four foot, five foot, six foot, or some of those big monster bull sharks, they're, I'm seeing them everywhere out there. Like we chased some down the other day thinking they were cobia, and yep, they ate the bait and we got broke off. That was a <laughs> lot of fun though. <laughs> Another tip I can give you guys too, um, right now we'll, you'll see a big influx of glass minnows in our harbor and you'll see a lot of birds on top of hovering over, uh, over the top of those glass minnows, always fish that. If you've got live bait or your favorite Rapala or whatever, always throw around those those diving birds because Spanish mackerel, ladyfish, you, you just never know what you're gonna catch when you do that. But if you see those birds really popping the top of the water, it, it's always a good idea to go fish that. Thanks guys.